Whoever's not drinking Dr. Zevia, you're missing out. Hi, welcome to Floss Tube number nine. I've come prepared with notes today, so you know I have my stuff together. Whoa, who is she? Um, it is the Sunday before Thanksgiving, and it is my all-time favorite time of year, and I'm so happy about it. Um, it's a little bit later on Sunday, so we just watched the Packers win. Shocker. We love to see it. And I'm feeling great. I feel like a new person. For those of you who don't know, I had one of my best friends wedding this past weekend where I was made of the honor, made of honor, not made of the honor, uh, made of honor. And I have been dreading that weekend for about a year now. Not because I was like unhappy with her getting married or anything like that. It's just because I'm a total freaking spaz and I stress out about stuff and I had to do a speech and it was very stressful. I was having nightmares <laughs> about, about everything. Um, so I'm very like relieved it's over. It was lovely. P.S. San Diego. You always hear that California weather is like absolutely amazing. 10 out of 10 would agree. I literally got off the plane and I was like, oh my gosh. I now understand why San Diego is the most expensive place in the country to live because it was absolutely gorgeous um, and much different than I expected. But anyway, I'm on a tangent now. I'm feeling great. I am no longer dreading anything in my life and it feels good. It feels really good. <laughs> um, so to give a preview of this video, I am going to talk about stitchy stuff first and then at the end I'm gonna do a little life update and some favorites just to like sprinkle them in and uh, for those of you who care you can stick around and for, for those of you who are just here for the stitchy stuff totally get it and uh, we'll start that process right now so oh I did want to show you I'm stripping I'm stripping I forgot in my birthday haul last time, one of my other best friends got me this shirt. Stitch happens. <laughs> oh, you can't see the bottom. How freaking cute is that? I feel like I should wear this during this video. That's why I put it on, but I'm also kind of cold. So I put on my Packers thing also, good luck. And it worked because they won. So yeah, Stitch happens. This should be my thumbnail. We should see what YouTube saves as my thumbnail because for whatever reason, I don't know how to make thumbnails. I don't know what people use. I am technology. I always thought I was like a bit technologically savvy. Turns out I'm not. So anyway, a uh, stitch happens. So that was another birthday haul that I thought was so cute. Okay, so I have one fully finished object. Ooh, ooh. So you've seen this before, but I put it in a frame. Dun, ta -da -da. It was my little Mill Hill cookie jar thing. And I got just the Mill Hill kit. It called for a dark brown, but I wanted it to look more Christmassy. So I got a dark green. And in person, it matches, oh, it matches like some of the beads on the, on the tag. So it looks nice. I like it. So that's my fully finished object. I love these kits. I'm obsessed and I'll talk about them a little bit later. So that was my one FFO fully finished object numero uno of all time and now I have a couple of whips so the first whip is or works in progress is my magic book stitch that I mentioned at the end of my last video that I was gonna pull out because it was a bit it feels a bit um Halloweeny to me we're spooky and so I worked on this for a good chunk, not a good chunk, but I put some stitches into this one. 
So this is what it looked like last time. And then this is what it looks like now. I tried to do some black so you could tell I was like getting stuff done. So um, I also worked on filling in some stuff. I'm kind of dreading. This is all going to be white fill in, like different shades of white. So I'm working myself up to there. But I did a bit of black and a, again, fill in. So I put some decent amount of stitches in. I don't track the amount I stitch because it stresses me out to get too like numbery. Um, this is on, hold on, let me grab my information because I don't quite remember. Okay, let's try this again. So this magic book, uh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. This magic book is by Teeny Cross Stitches and it's on a 28 count opalescent Lugana and I'm doing it one over one. Dun -dun. I love this fabric. It is so sparkly and shiny and it brings me a lot of joy. So that was my first work in progress. <sighs> oh my gosh. Will I ever be organized for these videos? I think not, but it's all right. I also worked on a Carolyn Manning. So this Carolyn Manning is just on a 14 count, I believe. Ada, this is what it's gonna look like. It's the quilting bee, it's very cute. This is what it looked like last time. And I honestly thought I was going to be able to work on this a bit more when traveling for work, but life just didn't work out that way. Um, but this is what it looks like now. So I put in a few stitches for sure, but not as much as I thought I was going to do. So, whatevs. I'm gonna put it away for a while now just because it is a bit summery in my opinion. And uh, I'm feeling the winter, the winter vibes now, but it's very fun. It's uh, a very like mindless stitching, which sometimes is exactly what some, you know, a girl needs. Now, what I have by, been primarily working on is my Christmas patchwork by Dimensions. Sorry, blanked out there for a second. This is what it's going to look like. This is where I was last time. And then this is where I am at. Now, so for my Instagram friends, you might have saw my dilemma. Oh my gosh. So my goal is to finish this by Friday. Really, I don't know if it's doable, but I also think it might be doable because really I only have the Y and then the A and the S, obviously, Merry Christmas. But I also have to go back and finish almost every single letter. So for example, uh, this T is outlined in orange and then it, these trees have little red garland on them. This S, I need to finish. Um, oh no, I finished the blue. I need to like go back and outline the leaves and put little uh, French knots for cranberries. 
Uh, this E is going to have like stuff all over it. So there's a lot of work on each letter to be done still. So I think Friday is a bit ambitious, but you know, live a little, challenge yourself. My goal is Friday because I'm decorating for Christmas on Friday. I don't think this will be ready to be framed anyhow, but it's, it's a, it's a goal. And I'm feeling motivated. But so my for my Instagram friends, you know, the dilemma I went through with this. I was so motivated. And I think it was two weekends ago, I sat down. And I did. Um, I finished the Santa, I did the S, I did the T and I did the first R. And I was looking at it. I was like, the Santa looks a bit wonky. I was like, why does he look wonky? And I realized when I started this piece, I was using three strands of floss. Um, this is on a 14 count Ada, by the way, it's just a plain. It's also an opalescent Ada. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I started off with using three strands and for those letters I mentioned, I did two strands. And once I saw it, I couldn't unsee it. So I had done too much where I was like, I cannot rip all of this out. That's a bit ridiculous, especially since if you didn't know what you were looking for, you wouldn't really be able to tell but I could tell. And so what I ended up doing was I ripped out the side of Santa that didn't match in term, cause like it was the same letter. So it was very obvious. Like one side of them was with three strands of red and the other side was with two. So I just redid that. It was like 25 stitches. It wasn't a big deal. Um, then for, I had started the M with two and I was like, oh no, like I still have all of this so I should try to make it look equal. I didn't rip them out. And my sister actually was just like, go over it with like a single strand of floss just one time. Shout out to you, Mary. And I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I didn't think of doing that. <laughs> and so I did a full cross on the first row and I was like, it looks a bit messy. So for the rest of it, I just did one strand of floss and did the last cross. So really it's missing one of the strands for one cross, but I liked it was a cleaner look in my opinion than trying to put a whole X over an already completed X. I just put one single strand the X so it was a bit more neat looking and it's fine. <sighs> It's funny though, because I did that and I actually prefer the look of two strands over three. And I think I will really prefer the two. So this T is done in all two strands and you can tell like the trees are thin looking for sure versus like the candy cane up here is definitely thicker. So I feel like the three strands looks a bit more like cartoonish and the two strands looks more neat and polished. But I think two strands would be really helpful like on this E. I have to go in here and put so much detail and I'm like it is already like jam packed. So I think it's going to be hard to like add stuff to the three. Whereas when I go in here and do like the red garland on these trees, I think it's going to be much easier with only the two strand base. So it'll be interesting if I ever do this one again, what I would end up choosing. You know what I'm saying? So these are just random thoughts going through my head. But yeah, I'm very pleased with my progress since the last video. I've really worked on this. I actually sat on the plane to San Diego uh, for four and a half hours and worked on this. And it was actually hilarious how little you get done in four and a half hours. <laughs> to be fair, I was fixing a lot of things because that's when I noticed. 
um, well, I noticed right before my trip. And I, it was one of those things where I was like so, not so upset, like that's a bit dramatic, but I was like, oh, why did I do that? Like, couldn't I just remember things um, where I just had to put it down? And I was like, I can't look at you until that flight. And I was like, okay, I could, I should probably get this sorted. <sighs> but long story short, this is happening. I'm trying to finish it. Hopefully by my next video, it will be a finish. And I am going to try to frame it myself. Have I done that before? Sure haven't. But I'm going to see how it goes. And if worst case scenario, I'm just, I can't, I can't figure it out. I'm just going to, um, Pay to have it framed because I want this to be one of those things I put out every year, like family tradition, just like my mom has at my home, my childhood home. I'm also very excited to see hers in person again now that I've like been cross stitching because I've never looked at it through a cross stitcher's eye. So I'm going to be very interested to see like how her colors compared to mine. And she also makes some choices like um, on the M there's a big star and she didn't put the smiley face. And now I don't think I'm going to put the smiley face because I've never seen it with a smiley face. So then it looks a bit kiddish to me. Not that this isn't like kiddish looking, but you know, um, she also left these just plain red and green, but in reality, they're supposed to be like uh, a green stripe through the red and a red stripe through the green, which I'm going to do because I, I think that'll look cool. But yeah, I'm excited to like see hers in person again and see how ours are different from each other, mostly the colors, because the one color I'm not a super big fan of is the aquamarine I chose. I don't know if it fits, but again, I'm going to finish it, see how it all looks. Um, and my other sister was like, if you don't like it, give it away and do another one for yourself. And I don't know if I'm at that point yet, but <laughs> we'll see. I'll definitely put it out in my house this year. And honestly, I'll probably end up keeping it because um, I don't know. It just seems like I will. Let's be honest. I'm going to keep it. What well, it does it. I yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Words are hard. Teal, turquoise, not aquamarine, turquoise. Sorry, I just saw my notes. Um yeah, that's, so that's the only color I'm like eh, about. <sighs> wow. Yeah, that was a very stressful situation. I was not happy about the whole situation. Yeah, so this is done on a 14 count opalescent Ada. I believe um, both this Ada and the Magic Book Ada, I just got off one, two, three stitch. It wasn't anything super fancy. Now, I do have one new start and that is My Christmas palm. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> and I worked on this only like one night, so I didn't get too much done, but I thought I'd show you. This is what I got completed. Sorry, I'm having to use my ring light because it's a bit dark. I mean, it's only 340 <laughs> and the sun is already setting. <laughs> Wisconsin love to see it in the winter um so yeah the lighting is not the best but this is what I got done oh my gosh guru guru we love a beading set in this house they are so fun I have been really itching to work on this but I've been really trying to focus on my Christmas patchwork because of my uh deadline I set for myself but it's one of those ones where I'm like, oh my gosh, I wish I could work on something else, but I should really proper finish this. So that was my one new start of the month. Now, let me check my notes. I do have a little bit of haul. Let's 
words words i did obviously like i mentioned i got this frame cute i got the hydrangea autumn fog bead set from the european uh european cross stitch whatever um, so it came with all of the beads for it. I'm very excited. This was also kind of a birthday present from my future mother-in-law. Um, she accidentally bought me the pattern, which I can understand because their website is a bit confusing because you have to like pull down a pull down menu and there's like pattern, beads, pattern with beads and floss, pattern with floss, no Gloriana. It's kind of confusing. So she accidentally bought me the pattern, but I obviously have the pattern, but you can't return patterns. So I just bought the bead set because that's what I knew that she was trying to give me. And I think in a future video, I'll do a giveaway with the Hydrangea Autumn Fog pattern for someone who wants to start a chatelaine of their own and do the one I'm doing. So um, yeah, that will be in a future video, but I did get all the beads for that. So I'm very excited. I am still waiting on the Gloriana's. And uh, yeah, again, I wish in retrospect, and is that what I'm trying to say? Hindsight. I wish I had paid the money to just get the whole kit all at once from the European Cross Stitch Company uh, because it's kind of not as motivating when you don't have everything. Because like I can't, I can't, compl I can't work on it. I just feel like I don't want to work on it because I don't have everything. So then I'm like, what do I have? What can I work on? It's just one extra mental load, but you know, first world problems, who cares? No one. Um, anyway, I got those. Now, I did also, speaking of the kits, in my birthday haul, I showed you I got this Mill Hill <laughs> dancing snowman, which just kills me. I love him. And I was like, on my list, I also had put another one and no one got it for me, which is totally fine. But I was like, I can't just have one little snowman. He needs to have a friend. So I bought myself uh, this Mill Hill. No, yeah, Jim Shore by Mill Hill snowman with candy cane because look how cute he is. With a little smile and a candy cane brings me so much joy. Sorry, I'm losing beads out of the kits. Look at them together. Oh my word. I want them all. It's a problem. So yeah, I'm hoping to start these this December as well. Which I think I might start them at my other haul item is I got a ticket for the Jingle Ball. That's right the Jingle Ball, which it will be my first Jingle Ball. For those of you who don't know, from what I have gathered, it is basically a virtual stitchy event that goes from the first Friday in December, I believe, through that Monday. And it has a bunch of different like exclusive patterns provided by, um, the designers who are like involved with the event. I believe the it's hosted by Lindy Stitches. Ooh, I hope that's her name. I apologize if it's not. And uh, there's a whole bunch of different designers associated with the event, like Liz Matthews, a um, whole bunch of people. She's just one of my faves, so it pops into my brain. And uh, yeah, so there's different exclusive patterns they have different classes uh there's like meet and greets 
there are stitchy tables where you can just like log in and stitch with people and there's like five minute stitch sessions with people. So yeah, I bought that. I'm hoping to start one of those during that. I think it'd be fun to work on and kind of easier. It's not something like super complicated. You have to like really focus on. Uh, so yeah, or I might just buy one of the patterns that are released and work on one of those. We'll see. I'm very excited. It will be my first like stitchy event. I'm also kind of nervous because I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I would actually do like the stitchy tables because talking virtually to people is kind of my hell. <laughs> I don't, I don't like, I don't know if that's my vibe, which I, tons of people, it's their vibe and like good for them, but uh, it kind of stresses me out. So like, I would love to join a table and just like turn off my video and mute and listen to other people talk. But I'm not one to like talk during virtual events. So if you see a ghost at a table, it's me just lurking, listening to everyone else talk. Yeah, okay, moving on. The other, the last thing I bought, I was influenced by Cross Stitch Kate. And uh, she, a one for, I'm gonna, I'll link it on the screen. I forget exactly. I think it's the Forbidden Fiber Company. Forbidden Fiber Co. Are, is doing a Gilmore Girls stitch along that starts in January. And I love a Gilmore Girls uh, anything, so I had to be involved. And I've never done like a proper stitch along as it's going live. So I think the patterns release like every, oh, I forget, but it's like every so often. January through March and I've never done one live. I've done the haunted house style, but it was already like everything was already released. So I thought it'd be fun to have something like to stitch on. And uh, yeah, so I bought that. And I got it on 16 count, I believe, Ada. I'm waiting, I pre-ordered it, so it hasn't been released yet. They released the frame, but I didn't, I don't have anything yet, so I can't start the frame. Uh, so that will probably be a new start whenever they ship it out and I'll begin that project. Um, but yeah, I'm stoked about that because I love anything Gilmore Girls related and I'm excited to do a stitch along. That's like every so often releases. So yeah, that's all my haul. So I believe that's everything stitchy related other than plans. So my plan is, this will be very interesting because I don't know, I don't know my plans. So my plan is for obviously first and foremost is to finish Christmas patchwork, my Merry Christmas sign. That will be like my sole focus until it's done because priorities. But then I will probably work on my little tropical guy. Adam and I are going to Florida for Christmas. We're so excited to get out of this weather. We can go golfing in Florida um, and then obviously do all the festivities with my family. It will be our first Christmas together in one place. So he's ditching all of his family in Wisconsin this year, uh, which I feel kind of bad about, but uh, golfing in Florida. <laughs> no, it'll be really fun. Um, and he'll finally get to meet like the last bit of my family, which will be great because we're getting married next year. So I would like everyone to know him before we get married because I feel like that's more fun when you know the person, your person's married. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to Florida. So I feel like that tropical um, thing will be fun to like start and doing the plane, not start, but doing the plane or when I'm in Florida, easy to bring, travel friendly, blah, blah, blah. I'll probably start one of these guys too. 
And then the other thing I'm looking for right now is I really want to stitch something for my mom. And she has requested, let me make sure I get these names right, something inspired or like works of art by William Crane. Nope, William Morris. And then something Crane. Martin Crane. They're very like arts and crafts movement people that's what she's into and etsy actually has very cool patterns especially of william morris but they're massive and i don't know how big she wants her present to be because i don't mind making something massive but i also don't want to give her something massive and her being like <laughs> what is this? I wanted something like yay big. Um, so I just need to clarify, but hopefully in December I'll get to start that because my goal would be to have it done for her birthday in September, especially if it's a bigger project. I want to give myself plenty of time. If I get it done earlier, fantastic. Um, but if not, what else? So yeah, those are really my only plans for December. Um, I'll probably continue if like I'm not feeling anything else. I'll probably continue on my magic book stitch just because uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So there's that. Yeah. Is that everything? I think it is. Cool. So that's all the stitchy stuff. So if that's what you're here for. It's concluded and now we are gonna move on to, let's do my favorites first and then I'll move on to just life updates. There's not anything like crazy, but I don't know. I love hearing about people's lives in videos. So I always like to just throw a little bit of something at the end. Dr. Zivio, again, if you're not using it. Okay, I have, a couple favorites. First one is food. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a Costco near you, I need you to run, not walk, and get the S'mores Caramel Clusters. Holy smokes. These are amazing. They look like this. Oh my God. We have eaten this entire bag in like an embarrassing amount of time. Uh, they're so good. Milk chocolate and then just s'mores caramel. The caramel in this is so good. It's like a salted caramel. Oh my gosh. That's my first favorite. Second favorite. The Scrub Daddy. I feel like everyone and their mother has heard of this. And I always heard of it and I was like, I feel like I'm just, I'm doing fine with just my sponges in my life. Like I don't need anything fancy. It's a smiley face, who cares? No, no, I didn't understand. Cool, it scrubs, it cleans things really well. The game changer for me is it never smells. You, nothing, Nothing is worse to me than the smell of your hands after you do dishes with like an old sponge and you're you like it, disgusting, right? No, no. This guy, he never smells. So you do two hours worth of dishes. I don't even care how long. Your hands don't smell like anything. They just smell like soap. It is actually incredible. <laughs> so highly recommend Scrub Daddy. I was shooketh, shooketh by that. This is probably one of my favorite purchases <laughs> of 2023. Crazy. So try it if you have. <sighs> Show favorite. I'm, I'm the type of person who 
I don't like watching or reading new things. I am an avid rereader, rewatcher. Right now, we are rewatching the bone, the show Bones. Uh, it was on Fox for twelve seasons, and let me tell you, it's a ten out of ten program. We have watched the first four seasons, and we are addicted. So that's been my recent watch. Um, for anyone looking for like a good present for like in the $150 range for honestly someone from like preteen preteen to like my age. I, my best friend who's 32 also gets this. It's the Fat Fit Fun Box. It's a seasonal subscription box. This sounds like an ad. I wish it was. It's not. Um, it's a seasonal box and it's like giving yourself a present every season. So like I just got my winter box. Now I've had Fat Fit Fun in the past and I've canceled my subscription because I kept getting the same things over and over and it was just pissing me off. Now they let you, if you get like the annual year long thing, so you pay like the 150 right up front. 150 or 200, I can't remember, so sorry. If you buy one box at a time, it's 50 bucks, I think. Um, but each box itself comes with like $300 worth of products. Um, so like girl math, you are saving $250, right? Um, no, but the change they've made is they they let you pick everything in your box now which I was like yes so I repicked some of my favorites so like I got the way leave-in conditioner that is amazing I uh I think that was only that was the only repurchase I did, did this time but then I picked like an Olaplex hair serum I picked a perfume which was incredible it was like a milk like, uh, not musky, but like deep wintry scent. It smelled so good. And then like hair clips, a necklace. I picked everything. So that was a game changer for me. So I'm now team fat fit fun again. So I'm just throwing that out there. That would be a great Christmas present if you like have a big budget for someone. I feel like $150 to $200 is really expensive for a Christmas present. But I'm just, if you need a Christmas present for yourself, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, yeah, those are all my favorites that I can think of. So I hope you liked those. Um, I sure did. They made my favorites. Okay, now some life updates because this video is getting long and I'm usually a short video type gal and I don't want to throw people off if you're expecting a short video from me, but honestly, I don't care. So I'm just going to talk as long as I want to. And you always have the choice. You always have the power to exit out. Or do the little tap tap and skip. You know, I do that all the time. Um, so my big life update is I went to my best friend's wedding and it was delightful and it was in San Diego and now I wanna to move to San Diego only for the weather, not really for anything else. I won't, but I mean, because it's hella expensive, but holy cow. Uh, no, it was great. I loved it. I, I had to do a maid of honor speech and it was my literal hell on earth. I am actually quite a good public speaker when I don't care about the information and I don't know anyone in the crowd. If I care about something, that honestly, I can also care about it and it will be fine. But it was really knowing like a bunch of people in the room and having them like <laughs> looking at me, <laughs> talking. I was absolutely terrified. I, yeah, it was, it was a lot. And I, it was embarrassing. Not really. It went fine. I only stumbled over my words like once and it was at the very beginning because I was very nervous. And, but the, the hilarious thing to me was I got done with my speech and immediately to Adam, I was like, could you tell how bad I was shaking? And he was like, no, not at all. And I was like, 
is he lying to me right now to make me feel better? And so I asked my parents the same thing. And they're like, no, your voice was like strong. You couldn't tell you were nervous. Um, and I was like, but could you see me shaking? Because to me, I literally thought I was shaking so bad. I thought I was gonna fall over. I was in heels, which I don't wear heels, which let me tell you, I wanna become someone who wears heels just to switch it up. I don't know. I feel like I could be that person, cause why not? Um, but anyway, I was in heels, I'm not usually in heels. And I, I have never gotten to that like level of nerves where my whole body was basically convulsing and I, middle of the speech in my head, I was like, I, I am shaking so much, I'm going to fall over. It was, I just, yeah, so that was really embarrassing. And people said they couldn't tell, but I'm pretty positive. Someone in the back of the room probably could tell I was like a tree in a breeze. I was shaken so bad. It was so embarrassing, but the speech was fine. I liked it. <sighs> I'm so glad it's over. Adam and I have already discussed that I will not be talking at our wedding. So I have nothing. <laughs> I have no role in that, which I love. He is in charge of all public speaking. And that just goes for the rest of our lives together. I hope he knows that because that's how it's going to be. Yeah, but it was really fun. It was really fun also because our wedding dates are like going to be uh, two days apart. No, one day apart. So I think she got married on November 10th and we're getting on November 9th. So we were like, oh my gosh, a year to our wedding. And it's fun to see how other people do their weddings and then like take the things and aspects that you like from their wedding and want to incorporate it in our wedding. So yeah, we've made a lot of like, I wouldn't say like decisions, but um, we thought of a lot of things we wanted to do for our wedding. And the big decision, I, I've already mentioned this, I changed my mind, is our colors. So we are now going to have a burgundy blush wedding. Burgundy blush, black, and cream. And we're very excited about it. And by we, I mean me. Basically, I didn't really care about any of the stuff except there's this blush sequined tablecloth I want to use. And um, yeah, that's why we're having blush included with the burgundy, basically. So those are our colors and uh we've picked out our wedding website design and our save the dates and wedding invitations all on like the not website i'm not really trying too hard and getting fancy um and no pictures associated with the on like the invitations whatever it doesn't matter it's fine that's what we've done with our wedding thus far and yeah so that's really our big life update so, yeah, the other thing I wanted to mention is, does anyone else feel like they have too many hobbies? I sometimes feel overwhelmed with the amount of hobbies that I have. So, while this is another life update, Adam and I have become runners. How do we do, do Garmin? She's a runner. <laughs> um, No, I used to run. And I have a lot of problems with my body essentially in terms of I get injured a lot I'm very injury prone so I have run in the past and I've stopped running because uh, I thought I was too injury prone to keep it up and I kind of am but sorry I'm dealing with it but um I love running the endorphins you get from running just hit different from anything else I've ever done so our big thing is we're doing a half marathon a month before our wedding. <laughs> so if we stay together through this, we'll get through it all. And uh, yeah, so we're training for that now. We're very excited about it. It's been very fun to train with someone because I've only ever run alone. Um, and 
yeah, it's been very fun and we're very slowly because we have like 11 months. So we're going very slow in order to like get our bodies used to the progression and work up to the load of doing a half marathon. Um, Cause in the past when I've been training for a half marathon, I've just upped my mileage. I've followed like the Nike plans, but the mileage load Although it's like recommended, like obviously they didn't program something that was supposed to get people hurt, but my body, I just need longer to progress with miles. Um, so anyway, I've just, I think the mileage progression was too like fast and build it on itself. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? I would hit 10 miles and my body would get destroyed and I would not be able to run for an extended amount of time because I have this thing with my leg, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? We're training for a half marathon <laughs> and we're excited about it. But then I also, I don't know if this might be another life update for you. I started golf lessons. So I'm super pumped with my golf coach. I really like him. Uh, the first thing he did was com like completely change how I uh, stand. So that was concerning that I've been learning how to do golf wrong. But no, it was fine. Um, so I really like him. And we are, we just golfed yesterday for the last time in Wisconsin because the weather's going to go to garbage soon. And the courses are just going to close because of frost. And uh, yeah, so we had our last round yesterday. I got my first birdie. Very exciting. Oh my gosh. I should insert. <laughs> I'm going to insert a video of uh me on the golf course julie is this close to a hole in one I feel a lot of tap it in oh, God. Oh. anyway so we went golfing yesterday and now we're golfing in florida at christmas and i've been doing golf lessons so like i have running i have golf and uh, I obviously have cross stitch and I have reading and video games. Like, holy cow, I feel a little bit torn by all of the things I wanna be doing hobby wise, but ebbs and flows in life. Uh, right now, I feel like I'm very much focused on training for the marathon half marathon, dear God, not the marathon, the half marathon. And with that, I'm also doing a, like, it's called a hybrid, a hybrid athlete program. If anyone watches Nick Bear Fitness, um, I feel like it's getting darker and this is getting very bright. Hold on. Oh, much better. There we go. Um, the Nick Bear fitness so it's three days of running three days of lifting so I've been doing that which I really like and recommend if you're into working out if you're not totally fine um so I've been doing that golfing a lot not as much as we did in the summer but still like golf lessons going to the range whatever cross stitch now that it's getting cozy it's getting very like cozy stitching weather love it um but I really want to get back into reading I have not been reading very much at all so I just finished the whole guild series I forget the author it's the one with King Midas and oh I haven't finished the series I've read the first three I think book four and five are actually out which I didn't know until like very recently no I've read the first four I haven't read the last one. That's what it is. Um, something like that. I'm missing one book, I think. Um, but then I also just started The Serpent of Wings and Night or something like that. It's the one book that was like really big on TikTok for a while and supposed to be really good. So I started that. I'm trying to get into this habit of reading first thing in the morning because Adam leaves for work and then I usually have like an hour to 45 minutes before I have to get ready for work and like walk to my computer and work from home. Um, so I've been trying to read in the morning. 
so to like incorporate it back in my life because in the afternoon and evenings I usually try and stitch if I'm not doing something else um yeah and then the other thing I have been I went to okay here's the thing I went to San Diego and saw my friend's apartment or house I should say her house and then I have, I just went to my other best friend's house in Nashville this past summer. And both of their houses are on point with decorations and like decor. So now I'm in like a decor spiral because I am very self-conscious of the fact that our place is very much. It's not not decorated, but it's not decorated well or to the standard I would like it to see. So basically what has happened is I've become a Pinterest girl and I am gathering intel, intel of how I want to decorate our apartment. Obviously it's a lot harder when you have an apartment versus a house because you can't do as many things and like put stuff in the walls. But um, yeah, so I am in full like decor mode and I'm kind of living for it be honest with you. So I just spent too much money on online purchases. And I got like this bookcase for next to our TV that I'm very excited about. I got some new Christmas decor just to like freshen up some of the stuff we've had. Um, I am gonna make a gallery wall. <laughs> yeah. That's how deep into Pinterest I'm in. Is yeah, I feel like everyone has a gallery wall, but I don't. Uh, so I want to become a gallery wall type of person, but not like a normal gallery wall. I don't know how to describe it. Basically, I if anyone's on BookTube, you'll know. Well, you might know um, Zoe. I forget her channel name. Oh my gosh, Zoe something. She lives, she's also in Wisconsin, but she has the gallery wall that has like all different sorts of frames. <laughs> this is going to sound like every freaking gallery wall you've ever heard of, but basically it's all, all different types of frames and it's like a total vibe and she changes it out. I don't know if she does it seasonally, but she changes the prints out and I want to like change the prints out seasonally or like by my mood or what I'm into so I'm starting a gallery <laughs> no idea what I'm doing uh and nor do I know where I'm gonna put it originally I thought I was gonna put it like above my computer in here but I only come in here to work and Adam never comes in this room so I kind of want to do it out by our like kitchen table along that wall or honestly that's the only other option I have because now we're gonna have this bookcase you know the tv because I was also thinking around here but anyway I've become a decor girly so those are all my life updates I'm gonna stop talking because this video is so long and that is very unlike me um so thanks for sticking around if you have uh hopefully I will be back sometime in December or sometime before the new year uh I would imagine probably the end of the year I definitely want to do like a whip parade and join that crew because I feel like everyone does a whip parade and it is so fun to start the year watching everyone's whip parades and like getting all these ideas um and also like finding new projects to start and uh also watching them throughout December and getting ideas of what to put on my Christmas list whip parades are by far my favorite videos to watch so I definitely want to do those uh sometime at like either the end of this year or beginning maybe in January I don't know but yeah thanks again for sticking around if you've made it this far <laughs> feel free to comment like subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye